of virtual vacation Bible school. Can you believe it? We are on day four, which means tomorrow's the last day. That means tomorrow's the last day. Uh, I mean, well, I'm excited for today. I'm excited about all the things that we get to do together. The Bible story, the gizmo. You guys get to meet more of Trina. I'm excited. And then, but that also makes me sad because tomorrow's the last day. And that means it's, it's almost the end. Well, I don't like that. That makes me sad. So let's, Let's look at what maybe the, maybe the Bible point today will help me feel a lot better. Okay, let's take a look at what, what the Bible point is for today. Let me see if I can find it. Jesus's power helps us live forever. So there's no ending with Jesus? Oh, I like that a lot. I'm really glad that that's what we're going to be talking about today. But you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to tell you who I am. I got so excited to start the day that I didn't get a chance to say, welcome to Rocky Rail Railway. I am Miss Allie and I am so glad you're here. And you know what? I'm really excited that today we get to learn that Jesus's power means we can live forever. Trust Jesus. <laughs> that just sounds so wonderful that we'll get this chance together to learn about Jesus, his love for us, and how it means forever. And to then start our day, why don't we start with some good God sightings? I think we need some good God sightings to get our day started. So why don't you guys talk to the people next to you, talk to who's with you, or talk to God. Tell us where are the places that you see have seen God this week at Vacation Bible School. I'll wait right here. <laughs> sightings. I love to hear them so much because do you notice that God's love just keeps going and going and going and we get to see more of him in our lives? Oh, that's just, that is so wonderful and beautiful to me. So today, friends, we have our theme. Do you remember what it was? We just talked about it. Jesus's power helps us to live forever. Trust Jesus. So I thought, hmm, how can we get to know this day, this theme, even better? Well, I have a great song for us to sing next. So everybody, stand up, get up, let's get into this one, let's have some fun. And here's what's really cool, if you're not a super big dancer, here's what the motions you need to know. Train motion, all right? And then out and up. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this is made a place in heaven for me Okay. 
now, let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train this train this train oh I did it again. <laughs> I got distracted by the song. I was so excited to sing that song. <laughs> and do you know what means that time it is now that we're done with our song? It's time for us to go meet our next Bible buddy. This will be a fin of a good time. You ready to go meet him? Let's go. Hey Finn, how's it going? Oh, this is my friend Finn. Finn is our Bible buddy for today, who is going to help us learn and remember that Jesus' power helps us to live forever. Trust Jesus. Good job, you guys. All right, time to swim up and grab your little Bible buddy friend. Let's gather around and learn all about Finn and his life in the wild. <laughs> Are you ready to splash into another fantastic day at VBS? I'm Finn, a rainbow trout. I'm happiest when I'm taking a dip in a clean, bubbly mountain stream. Ah, oh, this is the life. This stream is where I began life. This exact spot where I hatched is pretty important to me, but we'll get to that later. I spend most of my day flipping my fins, swishing my scales, and exploring this awesome river looking for food. I love to eat. Me and my fishy friends spend about 80% of our day looking for food. I use my mouth to poke around and look for good stuff to eat. And sometimes I end up getting a mouthful of weeds and sticks. Not bad. Of course it's not as good as the bugs or the crustaceans I usually like. I'll even jump out of the water for them. God gave me something super sharp to help me find food, my eyes. They show me what to eat <laughs> and what to stay away from. After being born, I might travel to a new stream far away from my home. But when it's time to lay eggs, rainbow trout always return home. My cousins, steelhead trout, travel from a freshwater stream all the way to the ocean. Even if they've lived in the ocean for a couple of years, they swim against the stream to make it back home. That takes a lot of power. Wow! Home is important to me and my fish family. Jesus knew that a forever home was important too. That's why Jesus died, to pay for all the wrong things you've ever done or will ever do. Because those sins are paid for, you can have life forever in an awesome place called heaven. But Jesus' power doesn't just cover your sins. Jesus is so powerful that he beat death forever. But it gets even better. The Bible tells us the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. That means a friendship with Jesus gives you the same awesome power that let him beat death. <laughs> wow! So if you're feeling worried or sad or things seem out of control, Remember that Jesus' power is bigger than anything, and it's right there for you. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Hey, friends, I heard that our friend Trina was finally able to make it up and over the mountain yesterday. 
<laughs> she'll probably be gone for a few hours. So we'll have to ask her about it when it, she gets Ooh, back. I made it. I made it. What Ooh. happened to you? I thought traveling on a train wasn't supposed to be oh, dirty. this tiring. Doesn't the train do all the work for you? I know, one would think. We, we did make it. We got up over the mountain and got the M&Ms delivered. Woohoo! Everybody was very happy about that. Um, so as we turned around and started heading back to the station, I thought, wouldn't it be great if we could get back even faster than we got there? Oh, did you miss us? Oh, you know I did. <gasps> yeah, so um, in order to go faster, we had to make more steam. And to make more steam, you have to make the furnace hotter. To make the furnace hotter, you need more coal. So we were shoveling the coal. Still not enough. Shoveling more coal. Still not enough. Shoveling, shoveling, shoveling more and more and more until, you know, until... Until then you got back super fast? No, until we ran out of coal. Oh. Yeah. That's super frustrating. Yeah, and the train came to a screeching halt. Arrgh! Right in the middle of nowhere. So I said, I'll hike back and get help. And the rest of the crew stayed with the train. So here I am. Okay, well, I guess, you know, everything comes to an end. We run out of coal, train stop, parties end, people graduate, and older people retire and grown ups retire. Um, ending is a part of life. Wow. That is not the most encouraging thing you have ever said to me. <laughs> Let me finish. Today, my friends and I, we are talking about how Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Trust Jesus. See, thanks to Jesus, life can continue forever. It'll never, ever run out. Now, that is the most encouraging thing you've ever said to me. See, I just needed to end my story. Huh, yep. But I've never actually known anyone who can live forever. Well, it sounds like you need to hear a little bit more or a lot more about Jesus, Trina. I would be happy to tell you about him. He's my forever friend. You know, I'd really like that. I need to get back or get a train to get back and uh, rescue the crew. But I'll be back and I want to hear what you have to say. Okay. I'll be waiting here forever. I'll be right back.
What did I tell you? Dancing and singing about Jesus is the best way for us to learn all about his power. Okay, so we are now at the end of our opening for day four, which means the rest of the day, you still have your snack, you still have your gizmo, you still have your Bible adventure. You have so much that you get to do today, including an activity for your neighborhood, something that you guys can go out and do and have fun doing together. Don't forget to watch all of those videos. And most importantly, keep an eye out for God. See all of the ways that he is moving. And I will see you very soon. Bye, friends. Yeah.